Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at find intervals, which is to say finding interval numbers or indices. Now this is actually very useful in converting numeric data, continuous numeric data, into categorical data. Depend so it's turning it into categories depending on the intervals. Okay, so what we're going to do here is look at a data set in ggplot2. It's called diamonds. Okay, very famous one. And we're going to look at a continuous variable called caret. Okay, so let's just actually have a look at diamonds. Okay, and it's the first one of the first variables there. There it is, caret. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do there is actually first off, what I'm going to do there is get the summary of caret, just so we have a sense of what we are looking at. Diamonds, caret. So those are the quantile statistics. Okay, so the minimum is zero point two. The third quartile is 1.04, and the maximum is 5.01. Now, what I'm going to do is sort of split that up into categories, okay? So, I need my breaks. I'm just going to call it breaks. It's not, you don't need to specify anything. It's the lowermost value of the interval, okay? So, it's the lower, lower threshold of the value is what I should say, okay? So, I'm going to pick 0... 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0. Point, or 1 uh, 0 0.9, 1 1.2, 1 1.5, 1 1.8, and so on. Okay. All right, you know what? Uh, I'll go for 2.7 as well. Okay. Now, that is essentially, that mix creates an interval of 0 to 0 0.3, and then another interval of 0 0.3 to 0 0.6, and so on. Okay. Now, Let's use that. So the command is find interval. Okay, so I actually have it written there before. Find interval, diamonds, dollar sign, carrot, breaks. Okay, now I'm just gonna sort of hit return here just to give you a sense of what it looks like and then just clear the screen because essentially it's all the category numbers and there's 53,000 of them, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just actually sort of save that as carrot, cat, okay? And let's tabulate that table. Carrot cat. Okay. So there we are. That is the carrot categories. Okay. So we have eight categories there. Uh, the last category here is anything that's greater than 2.7. This is anything from 0 to 0 0.3 and so on. We see that this category here is actually extremely large. Now, we can do other things like that. By the way, what we can do is actually use that in dplyr mutate okay i'm not going to do that here now i don't want to get things too confused but as long as you have breaks set up the specify these lower intervals uh, lower thresholds for intervals then you can use it in dplyr mutate so that's sort of straightforward enough now i, I don't want to mix up it, fine intervals and mutate so much but essentially they do match up and this is that, that's really cool now, I just want to clear the screen here for a second, and we'll have a look at the class of carrot cat. So it's an integer. So let's turn that into a factor. So carrot cat is a factor. Carrot cat. Okay, and let's just get the summary of that. So it just gives a table there. Now, what we could do there is, there's loads of things we can do there to work with, okay? So I'm just gonna sort of leave it alone as it is, but there's a really cool package there for working with factors, and it's called forecats. So it, it'll allow you to sort of manipulate what we have there in that summary. For example, rather than call it, calling it one, two, three, four, we can call it, we can use the forecats to actually, you know, enhance it and so on there add in our own specifications. Something that we can also do here is just actually look at the levels, carrot, cat, and so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so... So just a few closing remarks before I go. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll back here. Just the first one is that it is capital I and no S. So I just, it's find all lowercase capital I interval, okay? Now, the second thing actually is, I'm just gonna sort of like go back to breaks here for a second. I'm just gonna sort of scroll back to where I 
calculate my breaks. Let's just say for argument's sake, I had my lowest interval was erroneously 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. Now recall that there is a couple of values of 0 0.2 in there, okay? Oops, I've changed it now, so it's carrot, carrot, sorry. So 0 0.2. So what will happen here if the lowest interval that it finds or it creates is 0 0.3 to 0 0.6, what happens? Let's find out. So we'll just run it again, okay? And let's just tab tabulate it, carrot, cat, Essentially what happens here is that it makes the lowest category, anything that lower than your lower, lower threshold, uh, it will make it 0 0.3. Uh, it will make it 0, sorry. Okay, that's it.